What is up everybody, it's 414 Anime here for Anime Uproar, and today I will be breaking down and explaining every Shikai from Bleach. We certainly have a lot of Shikai to look into today, so strap in for today's epic one where we will break down the Soul Reaper's Zanpok Toe, their Shikai's release call, and its powers. We've also covered every Bonkai in Bleach too, so make sure to check that video out after this one. Link to that is in the video description. Now, if you do enjoy these Bleach videos on the channel and you'd like to see more, you know what to do, smash that like button. If you haven't already, make this the video that you subscribe and hit that notification bell to turn on all notifications. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at AnimeUproar. And now, without further ado, let's jump into it, spoilers and all. Shikai means initial release, and it is the second form of a Zombok Toe from its sealed state. In order for a Soul Reaper to achieve Shikai, the Shinigami must learn the name of their Zombok Toe. In order to do this, they must communicate with the spirit of their Zombok Toe in their world and form a bond with it. Once they have achieved this and attained their Shikai, the first ever release of it is known as Manifestation. To achieve their Shikai, the Soul Reaper must chant their Zompok Toe's release call, also known as Kaigo. These chants are unique and individual to each Zompok Toe and can range from a simple word to more of a sentence or poem. This is all dependent on the Zompok Toe's spirit in terms of its personality or nature, if you will. Upon its release, the Zompok Toe's blade will change in shape and its abilities become available to their Shinigami. To achieve Shikai is a mark of progression within the Shinigami ranks, as it is proof not only of their power, but also their control of their Zompok Toe. To achieve Shikai is a requirement for a Shinigami to rise through the ranks, especially if they are looking into becoming a seated officer or a lieutenant, as this is one of the first things that a captain will look for when choosing their membership. So let's start looking into every Shikai with series protagonist and substitute Soul Reaper, Ichigo Kurosaki. After this, we will then move through the Soul Society's ranks. Ichigo's Sanpakuto is called Zangetsu, which is translated to mean Slaying Moon. Ichigo's Zanpakuto is certainly a topic due to the fact that he found out that he doesn't possess what we would consider a normal Zanpakuto, but one that is a fusion of both his Shinigami and Hollow powers. This he didn't find out until chapter 547, so we will focus on his Shikai here. His Shikai comes in the form of two separate black swords. One is the size of his previous sword that we are all very familiar with, and the second blade is like that of a knife. The larger blade represents his inner hollow that has been known as a you know, variety of different names, including Hollow Ichigo, White Ichigo, and the Hollow Within Ichigo. This is his Shinigami and Hollow powers, the Shinigami powers that he had inherited from his father, and the Hollow powers that he had inherited from his mother. The smaller blade represents the old man. The old man is the awesome looking figure that Ichigo acknowledges as Zangetsu and is the manifestated spirit of Ichigo's Quincy powers. Now, Ichigo's Shikai powers are both energy attacks and for me, one of the most iconic anime attacks ever. The first is of course Getsuga Tensho, which is translated as meaning Moonfang Heaven Piercer. With the slash of his Zanpak Toe, Zangetsu absorbs some of Ichigo's spirit energy and then releases it as an energy blast in the shape of a crescent moon that packs destructive power, immense force, and deals a huge amount of damage. Ichigo can fire a Getsuga Tensho blast with both of his swords. With the smaller blade, he simply points it towards his target and makes a small slashing motion. The bigger sword is the more powerful of the two, and when used with this blade, the color of the Getsuga Tensho attack is completely black. To tie in with this, Ichigo also has Getsuga Jijisho, which is translated as meaning Moon Fang Cross-Shaped Piercer. Here, he will fire a Getsuga Tensho with each of his blades at the same time in a crossed motion. This fuses the two Getsuga Tensho blasts into one insane attack. 
Shunsui Kyoriko is the captain of the 1st Division and the head captain. He was formerly captain of the 8th Division. His zanpakuto is called Karten Kyo Katsu, which is translated to mean Flower Heaven Bone of Madness. Its Shikai command is when the flower wind rages, the flower god roars. When the wind of heaven rages, the god of the underworld sneers. In its Shikai form, Karten Kyo Katsu becomes a pair of giant black curved Chinese swords. The Wakizashi sword is used for speed, while the Tachi is used for power strikes. So the power of Karten Kyo Katsu's Shikai is to make children's games reality. The Zanpakuto makes and sets the rules of these games, and those who step within its spiritual pressure are forced to play and obey by these rules, which also includes Shunsui himself. These games are essentially, you win, you live, and if you lose, you die. So let's look into the games that we know of. Lazy Spinning Top is a technique that represents the spinning top game where large wind blasts are fired towards his opponent, coming together to form a tornado. Mountain Demon was seen in Shunsui's battle against Stark. Shunsui explained that the winner of this game was whoever was higher than the other wins. Shadow Demon was a game where whoever gets their shadow stepped on loses. However, this game allowed its players to manipulate their own shadows, making it harder for their opponent to step on them. Lustrous Demon was a color-based game in which you say what color you want to cut with your sword and it won't be able to cut anything else that isn't that said color. Now, if the color that you call out is a color that doesn't appear on your own body, the damage will be minimal, even if that attack would have been a fatal one prior to this game. But it works in both ways, that if that colour does exist on your own body, then the damage dealt is equivalent to how much of that colour you have on your own body. So to deal out maximum strength, it would be advantageous to call out your skin colour or the colour of your clothing if you were wearing black robes, as an example. Basically, the gist of this game is risk. In order to deal greater damage to your enemy, you must also increase the risk to your life as well. The next game we saw was The Dharma Doll Fell Down. This is based on the children's game Red Light, Green Light, where either Shunsui or his opponent are marked as being it. The other can then travel towards the one who is it on a trail of their spiritual energy. However, they have to catch them by surprise because if the one who is it sees their opponent while they are moving, the opponent loses the game. The final game is Shadow Sending, which is based on the children's game Chichan no Kage o Kuri, where children would stare at their shadow on the ground for a few seconds before looking at another service, which will produce an after image of their shadow. How the game plays out is that Shunsui or his opponent can project an after image after staring hard at their shadow and then project an after image in a different location. The higher the opponent's spiritual energy, the more realistic the after image will appear to be. Genryusai Yamamoto was the former captain of the 1st Division and head captain of the 13 Court Guard squads. His Zanpakuto is Ryujin Jaka, which is translated to mean Flowing Blade Young Flame. Ryujin Jaka is the oldest and most powerful fire type Zanpakuto. Its strength is so overwhelming that it has greater attacking power than all of the other Zanpakuto in the Soul Society. Now its Shikai command is probably my most favorite of all the Shikai commands out there, as you, you, as you, you definitely know if you've seen some of our previous Bleach videos, but it is all things in the universe turn to ashes. Just sounds incredible. Now, in its Shikai form, the blade is completely engulfed in fire. The weapon's aura simply incinerates everything that it is swung at, leaving nothing behind but ash. The heat that comes from the flames of Ryujin Jaka in its Shikai form are hot enough to scorch the sky itself. Now, Ryujin Jaka has some pretty amazing abilities when it's in its Shikai form, which include Fortress Blaze. A huge wall of flame is erected surrounding its target before becoming a sphere which traps the enemy within. Torch is a technique where Yamamoto can create a giant inferno with a simple wave of his Zanpakuto. 
The flames from this inferno engulf and consume its target until only ash remains. These flames can also be controlled by Yamamoto himself to only attack the targets that he himself chooses. Not only that, but he can also control how intense these flames are as well. Flames of Hell is the last technique, but equally as insane as the others, where seven or more pillars of flame are created. These pillars are to trap his opponent within their inferno and destroy them completely. The power of this ability is so intense that anyone trapped within its boundary, including Yamamoto himself, will be incinerated. Chojiro Sasakibe was the former lieutenant of the 1st Division under head captain Genryusa Yamamoto, where he held this post for about 110 years. Chojiro Zanpakuto was called Gonryomaru, which is translated as Solemn Spirit. The release command for his Shikai is Pierce, and his Zanpakuto's appearance turns into that of a rapier sword, which looks very elegant, especially for a man such as Chojiro. Now, unfortunately, that is all we know about his Shikai, which is a shame as we know just how awesome his Bankai is. Going off the knowledge of what his Bankai is, I presume his Shikai must also be a lightning type, but that's just my take. Soifern is the captain of the second division, as well as the commander in chief of the stealth force. Her Zanpakuto is Suzumabachi, translated as meaning Hornet. She enters Zuzumabachi's Shikai release by using the command Sting All Enemies to Death. The sword shrinks in size and takes on the form of a black and gold gauntlet on her right hand. It has a small chain and a blade that looks like a hornet stinger needle on her middle finger. The needle is around two of Soifone's fingers in length, and though the blade has become a smaller needle, it still has enough behind it to block the incoming attacks from her opponents. Now, her Shikai's special ability is called Double Strike Finisher, and it has two steps to it. The first is to stab her enemy with the needle, which leaves a butterfly-shaped mark where she struck her opponent. This mark is called the Bee Crest Flower and is now the target area for the second step, or I guess you could say attack for this ability. Now, if Soifon can strike her opponent a second time in that exact same spot, it will ultimately result in that person's death and is known as death in two steps. A much larger bee crest flower appears in its place, which will destroy her target's body. So the ability is actually that of a venom that spreads throughout the target's body in mere minutes. However, the more spiritual pressure that her target has, the longer the venom will take to spread. Now, these crests are maintained by Soifone's will and are impossible to remove unless Soifone so chooses. Soifone has said that she could only maintain these crests for about half an hour, which was always more than enough time for her to land that second and most fatal strike. Marachio Omeda is the lieutenant of the second division under his captain Soifone and is also the patrol corps corps commander. His Zanpakuto is called Gigetsu Buri, which is translated to mean five heads. Omeda's Shikai command is Crush or Smash em in the Viz translation, where his Zanpakuto turns into a huge spiked ball and chain. The chain is attached to the hilt of his Zanpakuto and can be used as a ranged base weapon. Now, the very underwhelming thing about his Shikai, which, let's face it, suits its master in this case, am I right? <laughs> anyway, is, is that it doesn't have any special abilities itself. Omeda will only use it to throw at his enemies or to use as a shield to block incoming attacks. So we can really only speculate that Omeda hasn't really mastered his Shikai all that well, especially when you take into mind the amount of times that it has been cracked or completely destroyed by other opponents. Rojiro Otorobashi, more commonly referred to as simply Rose, is the captain of the 3rd Division and was previously a captain 100 years prior to his exile. His Zanpakuto is called Kinshara, which is translated to mean Golden Shala. He has an ability called Arpeggio, where he levitates his Zanpakuto sheathed within its scabbard in front of him horizontally. 
He then begins to move his fingers over the zanpakuto as if he was playing the piano, which is also accompanied by the sound of said notes being played. When Rose does this, his hands glow a golden color as a wire appears that wraps around his target. The notes that he plays will then constrict the wire, crushing the target trapped within. Now, to release his zanpakuto into its shikai form, his command is simply play, which is fitting for the whole piano thing we were just talking about. His zanpakuto takes on the form of a long golden whip with a flower at its tip that will impale his target. This whip is similar to that of Renji's Shikai, where it can extend and retract, making it an obvious ranged weapon. Also, while in use, the whip makes the light sound of a piano playing. So, it has an ability called Golden Sal Tree Sonata, number 11, 16 day old Moon Rose. Long name, right? <laughs> so, the flower at the top of the whip will attach itself to his opponent. Rose taps the whip and instead of a piano playing, it is now the sound of guitar strings. The sound vibrations travel through the whip and create a vortex of sound that will create a blast when it reaches the flower that is attached to his target at the end. Big boom, basically. <laughs> Gin Ichimaru was the former captain of the 3rd Division until he betrayed the Soul Society along with both Sosuke Aizen and Kaname Tozen. His Zanpakuto is called Shinso, which means Sacred Spear when translated. His Shikai is activated using the command Shoot to Kill. His Shikai is activated using the command Shoot to Kill, and its special ability is that it extends at very high speeds, impaling his enemy with a ferocious force. As well as that, he will swing his Zanpakuto around while it is extended to destroy wide areas or take out multiple targets at once. His Shikai can extend to up to 100 times its original length, which earned it the title of 100 Swords. Next up is Shusuke Amagai, who was from an anime-only arc. Amagai was another former captain of the 3rd Division, succeeding Gin Ichimaru. His Zanpakuto is called Raikar, which means Lightning Flash. His Shikai's release command was Sever. Now, the appearance of his Zanpakuto changes to a long white blade with a hook at the end and shell-like pipes at its hilt. These pipes emit powerful flames that produce the sound of a trumpet, and its special ability all revolve around the pipes that emit this fire. Armagai can heat up the blade, which causes it to become a much more intense fire color. Armagai can then shoot fireballs from the hook of his Zanpakuto, launching them forward with the swing of his sword. He can also slam his Zanpakuto into the ground with a fireball concentrated at the tip to send flames straight towards his target. Izuru Kira is the Lieutenant of the 3rd Division under Captain Rojiro Otorobashi and formerly of Ginichimaru and of course Shusuke Amagai. Izuru's Zanpakuto is called Wabisuke which is the penitent one when translated. Its Shikai release command is raise your head, to which the blade of his Zanpakuto becomes straight and its tip bends in two 90 degree angles. A very simple look to this one, but for some reason, this one always stood out to me like as a really cool and unique look. And talking of cool and unique, its special ability also fits that bill for me. What Wabisuke does is that it doubles the weight of any object that it strikes, be them a living or non-living object. And the awesome thing about Wabisuke's effect is that it can continually multiply the weight of what it strikes, meaning it isn't a one-time thing. He can strike an opponent's sword, making it twice as heavy, and then strike it again to double that, meaning that the sword is now four times as heavy, and another strike would double that again for eight times its normal weight and so on. It's just, it's just amazing. The crazy thing about this ability is that it seems to be limitless and Wabisuke can multiply the weight of what it strikes as many times as it wants. And with just a few strikes of an opponent's sword, Izuru's enemy will seemingly become immobile. And I guess if not, just strike it again, right? I always tend to think of its ability as a, a smash until it works kind of job. Now, when his opponent is on their knees before him, the gruesome form of his Shikai's design comes into play as he will hold Wabisuke's curved blade beneath their neck and lift it 
like that of a reverse guillotine. Riku Togakushi is the third seat of the third division under Captain Rojiro Otorobashi. His zanpakuto is called Shunjin, which is translated as meaning spring dust. His Shikai's release command is coil upward, and his zanpakuto takes on the form of a scythe. Now, the interesting thing about Riku's scythe is that the cutting part of the blade is on the outside of the curve rather than the inside that you would consider as a normal for a scythe. Unfortunately, we do not know of his Shikai's ability, but its appearance is certainly most impressive. Takatsuno Gori is the fifth seat of the third division under Captain Rojiro Otorobashi. His Zanpakuto is called Magaribu, which is translated as meaning whistling winter wind. His Shikai's release command is sound with a blow. Now, its appearance changes to look like that of a large cleaver that has more of an angled and wider blade. The blade itself also has a few holes running across the length of that blade. Again, another seated member of the third division whose Shikai ability isn't known, but again, I, I guess props for its Shikai's design. It does look pretty cool. Asuka Katakura is the sixth seat of the third division under Captain Rojiro Otorobashi. His Zanpakuto is called Katakage, which is translated as meaning summer shade. His Shikai's release command is Drown Out, and his Zanpakuto's appearance changes to where the blade splits into two liked prongs. And you know what's coming here, but yes, yes, another Shikai we don't know the ability of here. Third Division needs to up its game, that's for sure. Final Third Division member is an anime-only one, but a pretty impressive one nonetheless. Makoto Kabune was the former third seat of the third division under Captain Shusuke Amagai. His Zanpakuto was called Repu, which means gale when it is translated. His Shikai's release command was Rage Violently. I, I don't know why, but I'm, I'm a fan of that release command. Probably the violent nature of it. His Zanpakuto changes in appearance to this very large and very awesome three-bladed weapon that are connected by a large pole. Now, two of the three blades are like that of arrow points at either side of said pole, and the third is a curved one in between them. Very awesome looking Shikai here, and one that has certainly packed a punch. We do not know of his Shikai special abilities, but to finish off the third division in standard fashion, cool looking sword, bro. Retsu Unahana was the former captain of the fourth division. She was actually one of the oldest captains among the Soul Society and was their best healer, no doubt. She was also the first person to hold the name of Kenpachi. So her Zanpakuto was called Minazuki and her Bankai was of the same name, though their translations are different. So in terms of her Zanpakuto when translated, that meant flesh drops gorge. Pretty tasty, right? So, the release for her Shikai is unknown, but in its released form, Minazuki takes on the form of a green, giant, one-eyed creature that looks like a manta ray. This creature is used for transportation, where it can either fly or grow legs for transportation on land. Her Shikai's special ability is healing those that are placed within the creature's mouth. The person placed inside will be swallowed and stored within the creature's stomach, where the acid will cover that wounded individual. Now, the creature's stomach acids are like that of a strong medicine or ointment. The creature itself can carry up to six people in its stomach at one time, and once the healing process is completed, or at Unahana's command, the creature will regurgitate the people out of its mouth. Pretty, pretty tasty. Isane Kotetsu is the current captain of the 4th Division and former lieutenant under Captain Retsu Unohana. Her Zanpakuto is called Itegumo, which is translated as meaning frozen snow. Her Shikai's release command is simply run, and when it is activated, her Zanpakuto has two extra blades come out of the hilt at 45 degree angles alongside, of course, the main blade. 
Now for Isani, I feel it's a real shame that we do not know about her Shikai or Bonkai's abilities for that matter. You know, with her being a captain and all, as well as the fact I personally think she is a pretty awesome character. You know, it's a shame that we don't know anything about it, but maybe one day we'll find out a bit more about what she is exactly capable of. Hanotaro Yamada is the third seat of the fourth division under Captain Isane Kotetsu. His Zonpokuto is called Hisogumaru, which means gourd when translated. His Zonpokuto is pretty cool in the way that it doesn't deal damage when it strikes a person, but instead, it actually heals them. Yes, this isn't at all helpful in a fight, but as a support, this is a very useful Zonpokuto to have on your team. So, his Shikai's release command is Fulfill. When Hinotaro heals a person's wound with his Zonpok Toe, a red smoke appears that begins to fill up a gauge on it. The more severe the wound, the more of this red smoke that will appear and fill up the gauge. Now, when this gauge is full, his Shikai transforms into Shuiro Hisogomaru, translated as Vermilion Coloured Gourd, and it takes on the form of a scalpel. Its special ability is its form of offense, where it will concentrate every wound that is healed into a huge attack that looks like that of a Sero. This is activated when Hanotaro performs a slashing motion with his Zonpok Toe. After this attack is unleashed, the healing properties of his Zonpok Toe are lifted, meaning he can use his Zonpok Toe on the offensive. However, given the fact that his Zombok Toe is in a scalpel form, it really isn't that effective for combat. Like, unless it's like sneak attacks and stuff, maybe. But in a one-on-one, -on -one, he'd, he'd just he'd get wrecked, man. He'd get wrecked. Shinji Hiroko is the captain of the 5th Division. He was also a captain 100 years prior to his exile. Shinji was, of course, the leader and recruiter of the Visors as well. So, his Zonpokuto is called Sakanade, which means counter-stroke when translated. His Shikai release command is Collapse. And when in this form, his Zonpokuto becomes a very large ring that allows Shinji to rotate Sakanade around his hand without grabbing the Zonpokuto at all. The spinning is the Shikai's special ability. So the ability is called Upside Down World, and as the Zonpokuto is spun, a pink mist is created. This mist has a very pleasant aroma to it, but if smelt, the target will fall into an optical illusion. This illusion affects his opponent's eyesight and sense of direction. Even the injuries that they sustained aren't in the location that they think they are. Everything is thrown off and it will cause all sorts of effects including nausea, vertigo and confusion. And no matter how strong the opponent, they will all fall victim to Sakanade's illusions. All are unable to adapt to them. Sosuke Aizen is the former captain of the 5th Division before he betrayed the Soul Society along with his followers Gin and Tozen. His Zonpokuto is called Kyoka Soigetsu, which is translated to mean Mirror Flower, Water Moon. His Shikai release command is Shatter, which will activate and deactivate it. So, the special ability of Kyoka Soigetsu is Complete Hypnosis. It will control all five senses of his target that they misconceive a person's form, feel, and smell to be that of their enemies. Now, to fall under its hypnosis, the target must initially see Kyoka Soigetsu upon its release, and by seeing it just once, they will fall under its control every time that it is released, even if they haven't seen it in a very, very long time. The power of Kyoka Soigetsu's hypnosis is so strong that even if a person knows they are under its control, they will still fall victim to its effects. This ability is just truly devastating and one that really matches Aizen so well. It's incredibly useful to him both in and out of combat. Not only can he make his target think that other people are their enemies, but he can use it so it affects their view on himself to create decoys so he can hide his true movements and strike at the right opportunity. Momo Hinamori is the lieutenant of the 5th division under Captain Shinji Hirako and formerly of Sosuke Aizen. Her Zonpokuto is called Tobi Ume, which is translated as meaning flying plum tree. Her Shikai's release command is Snap and her Zonpokuto undergoes a pretty rad transformation. 
So it transforms and becomes double-edged, and it has multiple prongs that stick out of it. Now, Hershikai used to only have two prongs that came out of the blade, but after Aizen's defeat, Hershikai grew a third. And the special ability of Hershikai is that it releases powerful explosive fireballs that Momo can fire from her Zanpak toe. The blade releases a high-pitched cry when these fireballs are shot from her Zanpak toe. Byokyo Kuchiki is the captain of the 6th division and the 28th head of the Kuchiki clan, who are one of the four great noble clans within the Soul Society. His Zanpakuto is called Zenbon Zakura, which means Thousand Cherry Blossoms when translated. His Shikai release command is Scatter. Now, the special ability of his Shikai is that his Zenbon Zakura separates into a thousand tiny fragments that are incredibly sharp and look like cherry blossom petals. The tiny blades disperse from the hilt of his Zanpak toe, and when Byakuya swings his hilt, the tiny blades shred his opponent at his control. Byakuya can also use them as a form of defense, as they are strong enough to block incoming attacks from his enemy. Interestingly, Zenbon Zakura also has a safe zone that protects Byakuya from his own attacks, where they will not cut anything within an 85 centimeter range of Byakuya himself. However, if he so wishes, the blades can enter that safe zone. Renji Abarai is the lieutenant of the 6th division under his captain Byakuya Kuchiki. He also previously served as the 6th seat of the 11th division under Kenpachi Zaraki. His Zanpakuto is called Zabimaru, which means snake tail when translated. His Shikai release command is raw, and his Zanpakuto transforms into one of the best and most unique looking in the entire series. Of course, my opinion again there, but it's rad, man. So his Zanpakuto transforms into a blade made out of segments that get wider as they go up the blade. Each of these segments have a spiked protrusion coming from them that again are longer the further they go up the blade. So, these segments can then multiply in number seemingly without limit when Renji thrusts the blade. Each of these segments are connected by a stretchable thread. Renji will of course use his Shikai more like that of a whip, and because of the protrusions it can deal some really nasty damage as we saw when he cut Ichigo's shoulder in the early part of the series. Renji can however use his Shikai like that of a normal sword if he so wishes. Now, the interesting thing to note about Zabimaru is that it is supposedly the hardest Shikai to master among the lieutenants, though it was Renji himself who stated this, so there is that, but man, I, I can imagine it's, it's a pretty gnarly one to try and control. One thing that is true, though, is that his mastery of Zabimaru has provided some pretty awesome results for him. Now, Zabimaru does have a special ability called Higa Zeko, or Baboon Fang Bite when translated, but this is an ability that Renji has rarely used. This is all down to the fact that this technique is actually damaging to Zabimaru, and use of it will leave Renji totally defenseless. Because of this, if he were to use it in a battle, he could only perform it once. Byokya also stated that by using this technique, Renji will not be able to reactivate his Shikai for a period of time. So the ability, what it does is that Renji can use his own spiritual power to levitate the broken segments of Zabimaru in the air, and he can perform a one-shot brutal attack with it. Koga Kuchiki is another anime-only character here. He was the former third seat of the 6th division, who later went on to revolt against the Soul Society. His Zanpakuto is called Muramasa, which means village just when translated. His Shikai release command is Whisper, and upon its release, the Zanpakuto disperses a purple energy that will cause the Zanpakuto of all the other Soul Reapers in the area to turn against them. Not only does the Zanpakuto disobey the will of its owner and turn against them, but it will also turn on all of the other Soul Reaper allies too. In doing this, it gives Koga the perfect advantage to cut his enemies down. Sajin Komamura was the former captain of the 7th Division. His Zanpakuto was called Tenken, which means Heavenly Retribution when translated. His Shikai release command was raw, and his Zanpakuto kept the same form as when it was in its sealed state. So his Shikai special ability was that Tenken would create various phantom body parts of the armored giant that would copy the exact movements of Komamura himself. These body parts would have much more enhanced strength to them and would completely overwhelm his enemy. 
Now, not as strong as when the body was complete in his Bonkai form, of course, but they still packed a very, very impressive punch. Rabu Aikawa, simply referred to as Love, is a visored and the former captain of the 7th Division. So, his Zanpakuto is called Tengu Maru, which means long-nosed goblin when translated. His Shikai release command is crushed down, and the appearance of Tengu Maru goes from a katana to that of a very large black kanabo that looks like a, a cactus, I guess you could say, I guess, I guess you could say here. Tengu Maru in its Shikai form is also more than twice the height of Love, who stands at six foot two, meaning that his Zombok Toe in this form is over 12 foot, which is just crazy. Its special ability is that it can manipulate fire and has an ability called Fire Blowing Garvel. This is where Love will swing his Zompok Toe and it will ignite itself in flames. As he points his Zompok Toe down, a fireball is released from its tip that will explode as soon as it makes contact with his target. Tetsu Zaimon is the current captain of the 7th Division and former lieutenant of the 7th Division under his captain Komamura. So, Tetsu Zaimon is a strange one being a captain and all, because he is another one where his abilities are pretty much unknown to us. We don't even know what the name of his Zanpakuto is. With that, we also do not know the name of his Shikai's release command, but we do know what it looks like. So, in his Shikai form, his Zanpakuto extends to that of a large sword that has another small blade protruding from it near the tip of the sword. Other than that, that's about it. Would love to know more about this guy though. Atau Rindu is the lieutenant of the 7th division under his captain Tetsu Zaimon. Just as his captain, we do not know the name of Rindo's Zampok Toe, but we do know about its Shikai abilities. So let's dive into that. So his Shikai release command is Give Birth, which he will write onto his Zampok Toe using his finger. His Zanpakuto becomes like a whip in segments, with each of the segments resembling different Shinigami talismans. Now, the ability of his Shikai is that he can use a host of different attacks by naming an animal using sign language, and that's after he has written down his Shikai's release command on his Zanpakuto. So, one of the attacks we saw was called Taka, which means hawk when translated. Here, the different segments of his Zanpakuto turn into hawks that will swarm and overwhelm his opponent. Their attacks are both ferocious and relentless as they rip the flesh from their target. Jirobo Ikenzaka is the former fourth seat of the 7th division and was also the younger brother of Jidanbo. His Zanpakuto is called Zunzakigarasu, which means splitting crow when translated. So, his Shikai release command is Spread Your Wings, to which his Zanpakuto blade turns into dozens of flying Beyblades. Well, I guess they look more like fidget spinners. I mean, are they, are they even a thing, by the way? Anyway, its ability is that Jirobo can control each of these flying blades using his mind. Now, when he faced off against Ishida, he did say that no one had ever faced his Shikai and lived to tell the tale due to the awesome speed that his blades possessed. A speed that he said was faster than the eye could see. That of course didn't end well if you remember. Jirobo did have blade recreation, which was a nice touch to his Shikai, in which he could summon more blades if they were to have been destroyed by simply sheathing and unsheathing his sword, anime style. Lisa Yadomaru is the captain of the 8th division. Her Zanbokto is called Haguro Tonbo, which is translated to mean Iron Dragonfly. Her Shikai's release command is Smash, which turns the appearance of her Zanpak Toe from a sword to a long pole with a blade fixed at its tip, similar to that of a monk's spade. And at the other end of the pole is a large heavy ball. The heavy ball at the end allows her to use her Zanpak Toe like an axe. Her Shikai's special ability is unknown, but we have seen her use a move called 21st Article Dragonfly Landing, where Lisa dished out multiple piercing attacks all at once against her opponent. Tatsufusa in Joji is the third seat of the 8th Division under his captain Lisa. His Zanpakuto is called Hosen, which means crumbling mountain when translated. His Shikai release command is Dance Madly, and unfortunately, that is all we know about his Shikai, really. Bit of a letdown, this one, because I feel as if his Shikai's release command sounds pretty rad, and I'd hoped we'd seen some pretty sick abilities, but 
Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Kensei Muguruma is the captain of the 9th division. He again was a captain over 100 years ago prior to his exile and is also a visored. His zanpakuto is called Tachikaze, which is translated as meaning Earth Severing Wind. Kensei's Shikai release command is Blast Away. Its Shikai form turns his zanpakuto into a combat knife. Now, its special ability comes in the manipulation of both wind and energy, where its slashes turn into explosions. We have seen him use two abilities using his Shikai, which includes Air Blades, where Kensei will release multiple slashes from a distance that will cut the enemy down before exploding, causing a huge amount of damage. The other ability is called Bomb Thrust, where Kensei charges up Tachikaze with spirit power till it takes the form of a glowing ball of light. This he will then fire at his enemy in a devastating and very, very powerful blast. Kaname Tozen was the former captain of the 9th Division before he betrayed the Soul Society alongside both Sosuke Aizen and Gin Ichimaru. His Zanpakuto is called Suzumushi, which means bell bug when translated. When it comes to his Shikai, Tozen's is not like a regular Zanpakuto in the fact that it has two Shikai commands, both with unique abilities. The first is when he uses the release command Howl. His Zanpakuto keeps the same katana form of its sealed state, but a high-pitched noise occurs all over a large area. All of those that hear this high-pitched noise will be knocked unconscious. The other Shikai ability is called Cricket Second Movement, Crimson Flying Lotus. This ability turns Susumushi into its Benihiko form. Suzumushi begins to vibrate and as Tozen begins to move his sword in a circular motion, a trail will appear following the sword's movement. This trail then turns into hundreds of blades that are then fired straight at his opponent. Shuhei Hisage is the co-lieutenant of the 9th division under his captain Kensei Mugaruma, and of course formerly Kaname Tozen. His Zanpakuto is called Kazashini, which means death wind when translated, which it sounds really awesome this one. Death wind, let's go. His Shikai release command is Reap. Upon its release, his Zanpakuto takes on the form of two Kusa Rigama weapons. Basically, they're like double-bladed scythes on a spiked pole that go with his theme. Both of these weapons are connected by a chain. Now, because of the chain aspect, Shuhei can spin these scythes in circles at very, very high speeds, making his weapon appear as if it were like a fan. The chain on his weapon is also extendable, which makes Shuhei a deadly long-ranged fighter. Not only can his chain be used for long-range combat, but Shuhei can also use the chain to grapple and wrap around his opponent. He has an ability or an attack, I guess you can say, called Kubikake or neck hanging when translated. Here, Shuhei will throw his weapon at his opponent so that the chain wraps around their neck. Here, he will pull on the chain, which will not only strangle his opponent, but it can also be used to pull his target closer to him so that he can strike them with the other weapon. Toshiro Hitsugaya is the captain of the 10th division. His Zanpakuto is called Hyorinmaru, which is translated as meaning Ice Ring. His Shikai's release command is Rain Over the Frosted Heavens. In its release form, Hyorinmaru becomes slightly longer in length and also gains the addition of a crescent blade at its hilt, attached by a metal chain, which can also extend and be used to attack the target. His Shikai's special ability is that it allows Hitsugaya to control the elements of water and ice. The slashes he performs are not only enhanced in power, but also create a form of ice that takes the shape of a Chinese dragon that will freeze anything that it touches. The difference between its Shikai and Bonkai abilities are pretty small, but the abilities of his Shikai are as follows. The first is Subjugation of the Heavens, which is both his most basic ability, but also his strongest, where he can control and manipulate the water in the atmosphere around him. Then he has multi-layer vacuum ice wall, which will create a wall made of multiple layers of ice. Because this is a multi-leveled ice wall, it can even withstand some fire attacks, which of course is the element that he would be weakest against. 
He can also use this offensively in a technique called Vacuum Ice Blade, where he will manipulate all the ice he has gathered and focus it at the tip of his Zompok toe before firing it straight at his opponent. There is also another ice wall technique called Woven Ice Wall, where he will erect a wall of ice by weaving fine threads of ice together. His final Shikai ability is called Sixth Clothed Ice Binding Array, where Hisagaya will place five snowflakes shaped pieces of ice on the ground that creates a trap that will of course trap his opponent. Once they step on this trap, each of the snowflakes send a line of ice straight at them will then encase the target in a giant pillar of ice. Ishin Kurosaki was the former captain of the 10th division. His Zanbokuto is called Engetsu, which means scathing moon when translated. Ishin's Shikai release command is Burn. The appearance of his Zanbokuto does not change, however it is engulfed in a fire-like spirit energy. Ishin can use an energy attack when he is wounded, where he will use his own blood and spit it onto the sword, which will then release an insane amount of spirit energy that he will then use to pummel his opponent. Of course, the epic ability Ashin can perform is his own Getsuga Tensho, which is incredibly, incredibly powerful. He used this against Aizen in the fake Karakura Town. Not only did it completely demolish the surrounding buildings, but it also left Aizen with a large gash in his head, earning a compliment, a compliment from Aizen himself. Aizen said that the attack was splendid, and it was an attack that Ashin fully understood. Rongiku Matsumoto is the lieutenant of the 10th division under her captain Toshiro Hitsugaya and is also one of the baddest, bestest girls out there. Am I right? Noise. Her Zanbokuto is called Hainako, which means Ash Cat when translated. Her Shikai release command is Growl. When her Shikai is activated, Rongiku Zanbokuto turns to Ash. This ash is basically particles that are tiny blades that Rongiku can use to cut her opponent by swinging the hilt of her sword to control the ash's flow. Rongiku can make this ash cover a very large area to surround single or multiple targets and with a simple hand gesture make that ash close in and devastate those trapped within. Now the strength of Rongiku's Shikai comes in the amount of ash that is covering her target. The ash is often clumped together so that more of the tiny blade particles deal damage to her chosen target. And it can also be used as a form of defense as Rongiku can use the ash to form a shield to block any incoming attacks. She also has a move called Neku Rinbu, which means cat round dance when translated. Here Rongiku can create and manipulate her ash to that of a tornado that will wipe out many enemies at once. Another move she has is called House, where Rongiku can create multiple layers of ash to form a wall. Kenpachi Zaraki is the current captain of the infamous 11th division and is also the 11th Kenpachi to hold the title. His Zanpokuto is called Nozarashi, which means weather beaten when translated. Now, Kenpachi's Shikai release command is Drink. His Zanpokuto's appearance changes to the form of a giant axe-like weapon with a very long grip to it. Its special ability in its released form is an insane power-up in Nozarashi's strength and cutting power. Its power is enough to completely destroy a meteorite with just a single blow. Kenpachi can cut clean through his opponents with ease, even being able to cut through space itself. Yachiro Kusajishi is the former lieutenant of the 11th division under her captain, Kampachi Zaraki. Her Zanpokuto is called Sampo Kenju, which means three-step sword beast when translated. Yachiro hasn't been seen calling a release command when activating her Shikai, but fear not, fear not people, we do know what the ability of her Shikai is. So upon its release, Yachiro's Shikai summons forth two beasts that will fight alongside her. One of the creatures is a large skeletal beast wearing a black robe with light blue hair and has a bone that runs vertically through its head that also wields a dagger. This beast is referred to as Bony. The other beast, which Yachiro calls Lumpy, is a smaller yellow fluffball that's eyes are just visible through said fur. This creature is wielding a cleaver-like weapon. Now, when Yachiro attacks, the two creatures mimic her moves, striking with their own weapons. However, they attack at different times. The yellow's creature attack follows after Yachiro's, and the larger creatures after that. 
This is pretty much a triple attack, enhancing the accuracy and ferocity of Yachiro's original attack, meaning that dodging is near impossible for her opponent. Ikaku Madarame is the lieutenant of the 11th division under his captain, Kenpachi Zoraki. His Zanpokuto is called Hazukimaru, which means winter cherry when translated. His Shikai release command is Extend. When his Shikai activates, his Zanpokuto becomes a spear with a waxwood shaft and a red horse tail tassel at its pommel and the blade, of course, on the other end. His Shikai special ability is called Break, where he separates his spear into its true form, which is that of a staff with three sections. These three sections can separate and reattach as and when Ikaku wishes. Because of this, his Shikai nearly always catches his opponent off guard as it makes his weapon an extremely versatile one that suits Ikaku's brutal fighting style. These segments are all connected via a chain that also extends which lends further examples of its versatility as it means that Ikaku can fight at both close and mid-ranged combat. Yumi Chika is the third seat of the 11th division under his captain Kenpachi Zaraki. His Zanpakuto is called Ruryo Kujaku, which means Azure Peacock when translated. However, Yumi Chika has nicknamed his Zanpakuto to Fuji Kujaku, which when translated means Wisteria Peacock. His Shikai release command for the nicknamed Fuji Kujaku is Blossom, and the release command changes when he uses its true name to Tear in Frenzy. When his Shikai is activated, it turns into the shape of a sickle that has four blades all in a fan-like shape. Now, its special ability is that the blades of his Shikai can transform into many vines that look like peacock feathers. The vines ensnare his opponents, and once trapped, the vines begin to grow energy buds that start to fill with the spirit power of the victim that is trapped within them. Once enough energy has been collected, the energy buds bloom into flowers, and that spirit energy is then turned on the one trapped within, which results in mass damage and, in some cases, instant death. Now, the petals of the flowers can also be eaten, which will heal wounds or replenish lost spiritual power. The effect of the petal is equal to the amount of spirit energy that the petal had consumed. Another anime only here is Maki Ichinose, who was a former member of the 11th division under his former captain, of course, Kenpachi Zaraki. His Zanpakuto is called Niji Gasumi, which means rainbow mist when translated. So, his Shikai release command is flash and burst. Ichinose's Shikai is pretty awesome as he can infuse spirit power into his Zanpakuto and it will create lights that he can use for a number of different techniques. The first is that he can actually make himself invisible to his opponent by refracting light all around his body so that the only thing that his opponent can see is the area behind him, even if they are looking directly at him. This is perfect for surprising them with very fast sneak attacks. He can also use the light to simply blind his enemy. This will buy him time to launch another attack or he can use it as a way of making an escape. He has an ability called Brilliant Void, where he can create a large dimension of light to affect multiple targets at once. All of those that are trapped within its boundary will fall victim to the many illusions that he can perform using light, which include making it appear as if there are more than one of him. Ichinose can also make the blade of his Zanpakuto change to a blade of light that is constantly shifting, which he can make the blade itself appear invisible, which he will use to perform stealth-like attacks. This blade, though made of light, is still just as hard as that of a normal blade and just as lethal. A really cool ability with this blade is that if it is broken, Ichinose can pour more spirit energy into it, which will completely restore the blade to what it was before it was broken. The final ability is called Saigyoko Nijigasumi, where Ichinose's spirit power completely intensifies, which significantly boosts all of his abilities. More so, a large twinkling sphere of light begins to expand around the area his opponent is in, which causes a lot of pressure to fall on those who are trapped within it. The sphere begins to compress into a small beam that will ultimately crush the one that is trapped within it. Mayuri Kuratsuchi is the captain of the 12th division and is also the second president of the Shinigami Research Institute. He was formerly the third seat of the 12th division under Kisuke Urahara. So his Zanpakuto is called Ashisogi Jizo, which is translated as the Leg Cutting Guardian. 
His Shikai's release command is Rip, and the form of his Zompok toe changes to that of a golden trident with curved blades. The guard of the Zompok toe is shaped like a baby's head with its hands in prayer. Very, very creepy looking. So, Mayuri Shikai's special ability is that of a Venom. When his opponent is stabbed by Ashisogi Jizo, the signals from the brain that control movement are severed, leaving them paralyzed. The only thing not affected by the Venom is the nerve endings and pain receptors, meaning that his opponent will still be able to feel all the pain the paralyzed limb endures. He also has a Shikai ability called Leg Cutting Jizo, Terra Magnitude 4, where Mayuri sticks his finger in one eye of the baby's head on his Zanpok toe, causing a dark fluid to come out of the baby's mouth. Anyone who does not share the same blood as Mayuri, who will then hear this sound, will be completely paralyzed for four seconds. Short amount of time, but in battle, that's a long time. Kisuke Urahara was the former captain of the 12th Division and also the founder and first president of the Shinigami Research and Development Institute. His Zanpakuto is called Benihime, which is translated as Crimson Princess. His Shikai's release command is Awaken, and the blade takes the form of a medium-sized sword that has a decorative hilt and a crimson tassel hanging from it. So Kisuke's Shikai's ability is a vary of techniques that manipulate a crimson energy and through verbal commands from Kisuke, Benihime will execute said technique. The first is Sing Crimson Princess Scream, which are blasts of ferocious and destructive crimson energy that are fired in the shape of an arc. These blasts are strong enough to take on an Esparta class Arankar's Cero. Blood Mist Shield is where a hexagon-shaped crimson barrier forms a defensive perimeter blocking incoming attacks. Razor Crimson Princess is a technique very similar to Sing Crimson Princess Scream, where it again fires an arc of crimson energy straight towards its target, cutting them with ease. Spurning Crimson Princess is a technique that will cancel out an enemy's attack upon contact. All Kisuke has to do is analyze the opponent's technique, which is basically the spiritual energy composition and the muscle movements. Once that is done, a circle of crimson energy is drawn that will cancel out said attack. Crimson Princess of Binding is a blood red net made of condensed energy being thrown over the target from the tip of Benahime's blade using a slashing motion. The final ability is called Fire Playing Crimson Princess Beaded Mesh, which is performed after using the previous blood red net technique. Kisuke will stab the net with the tip of Benahime's blade that will create balls of fire all over the outside of the net that will then explode like mines, devastating, completely devastating, the one trapped within the net. Hiyori Sorogaki is the former lieutenant of the 12th Division under her captain Kisuke Urahara. Her Zanpakuto is called Kubikiki Orochi, which means head slicing serpent when translated. Her Shikai release command is Chop Cleanly, and upon its activation, Hyori Zompok Toe becomes a large cleaver that looks more like a saw than it does a sword. Now, unfortunately, we do not know what the ability of her Shikai is, but looking at the appearance of her Zompok Toe, as well as its Shikai's release command, I'm sure it would have been utterly, utterly brutal. Oko Yushima is an anime-only character and a member of the 12th Division. His Zanpakuto is called Sumi Tsukigasa, which means Ink Moon Halo when translated. Now, we do not know what his Shikai's release call is, but we do know a couple of details about it. So, for one, we know about its appearance change, as his Zanpakuto takes on the form of a double-headed Volk that has red markings on it. We also know that its special ability is Portal Generation, where Yushima can create portals to the Dangai by twirling his Zanpakuto. Ruki Akushiki is the current captain of the 13th Division, where she formerly served as a lieutenant under Jushiro Ukitake. Her Zanpakuto is called Sod no Shirayuki, which means Sleeves of White Snow when translated. Her Shikai release command is Dance. Now, Sod no Shirayuki is described as the most beautiful Zanpakuto in all of the Soul Society. And when it's in its Shikai form, the blade still looks like a normal katana, but a very, very elegant one. It also has a very long white ribbon from the hilt that forms a perfect circle when Rukia holds the blade upside down. So, Sod no Shirayuki is an ice-type Zanpak toe, and its Shikai form has multiple techniques it can perform that are all labelled as dances. The Zanpak toe's standard Shikai ability is that it freezes. 
It can freeze targets from a distance or create paths of ice in mid-air. Interestingly, it's not that her Shikai freezes objects from the blade, but it actually drops the temperature of what it touches to below freezing. Basically, anything Rukia touches will be affected. Her Sunbok Toe only extends her reach. The abilities or dances available to her Shikai form are as follows. Somno Mai Tsukishiro, or First Dance Moon White, is a technique where Rukia holds the glowing blade upside down, making a slashing motion when the enemy is in position. At that moment, she draws a circle with the tip of her Zonpok toe. Anything within that circle is frozen. Not only the ground, but the air too. Everything within that circle's perimeter is frozen into a pillar of light. Shortly after that, the pillar, as well as the target, shatters completely. To note, if the target is not trapped within the pillar, said pillar will not shatter. Sugi no Mai Hakuren, or Next Dance White Ripple, is a circle of ice similar to the previous ability that will form where Rukia stabs the ground. She will stab the ground four times in a semicircle and ice particles come up from those punctures. Rukia then takes up a stance and these particles flow to the tip of her Zonpok toe that she will then release in a very powerful cold blast of air, freezing everything that it comes into contact with. Sanomai Shirafune, or Third Dance White Sword, is an ability where Rukia gathers all of the moisture in the air to the tip of her Zonpok toe, forming a blade of complete ice. This not only increases the reach of her blade, but also freezes everything that makes contact with the blade. Chuhaju, or Tree White, is a direction of ice that forms a trail towards her target when she strikes the ground that will continue to freeze until that target is turned to ice. Rukia also has something called Ice Rope Connection, where she can create an ice extension that will connect her hand to the hilt of her Zonpak toe if she is out of its reach, allowing her to use her Shikai abilities at a distance. Jishiro Ukitake is the former captain of the 13th Division and the final captain on our list. His Zonpak toe is called Sogyo no Kotawari, which is translated as Law of the Twin. His Shikai release command is All Waves Rise and Become My Shield. Lightning, strike now and become my blade. And once his Shikai is released, his single katana becomes two blades that he dual wields. As the two blades separate, a large red rope with five silver charms appear that attaches to the hilts of both swords. Now, his Shikai's special ability is being able to absorb his opponent's energy through the left sword that will then travel through the red rope and its five silver charms that will increase the energy's attack, speed, and power reaching the right sword. Here, Ukitake will fire it straight back at his opponent with much more devastating force. This process happens so fast that it is pretty much unable to dodge. Kaien Shiba is the former lieutenant of the 13th Division under his captain, Jushiro Ukitake. His Zonpokuto is called Nejibana, which means twisted flower when translated. His Shikai release command is Rage Through the Sea and Heavens, and when his Shikai is activated, his Zonpokuto takes on the new form of a trident and spear. Water will flow from both the trident and spear end of his Zonpokuto. Now, his Shikai special ability is in the manipulation of water. Being hit by the water that his Zonpokuto creates is described as being hit by the crushing waves of the sea themselves. Water constantly flows from his Zonpokuto to which he can surround the entire area in water, or he can fire waves of water in the form of slashes by using his Zonpokuto. Zenosuke is the Soul Reaper who replaced Rukia Kuchki as the guardian of the areas around Karakura Town. He is also a member of the 13th Division. His Zonbokto is called Tsuchi Namzu, which means Earth Catfish when translated. His Shikai release command is Good Morning, which is pretty amusing in itself, right? Anyway, his Zonbokto changes to the form of a wind and fire wheel. His Shikai special ability is that it can cause earthquakes when he strikes the ground with his Zonbok toe. A red energy causes the earth itself to shake, to which he can even send rubble straight at his opponent. Not only that, but he can form said rubble into sharp spikes that will impale his enemies. We also saw Zanusuke manipulate the earth to form a cage in which he was able to trap and ensnare his target. Ichibe Hyusobe is the leader of the Zero Division. His Zonpok toe is called Ichimonji, which means one written character when translated. His Shikai release command is Paint It Black. 
Upon activation, his brush-like Zumpog toe turns into a glaive, where its top portion has a short blade. Its special ability is that the blade will release an ink when it is swung by Ichibe, that whatever said ink covers loses its name, and in losing their name, that target also loses their powers. Interestingly, its power is black itself, meaning that the colour black from all things, be them living or dead, becomes his own power. It must be said that this power can be stolen from him, however, it cannot be used against him because the power of black is commanded by Ichibe alone. He also has another move called Slaughterous Mausoleum of Halted Reincarnation. That sounds absolutely incredible, right? So, here Ichibe summons a huge amount of blackness from all of his surrounding area that he then fills into a cup. Ichibe then drinks from said cup and chants an incantation that summons a huge mausoleum. This mausoleum takes away all the darkness in his opponent, which includes their flesh, blood, and bones until nothing, absolutely nothing is left of them. And that person also, to make it worse, will never be able to reincarnate. Tenjiro Kirinji is a member of the Royal Guard and the first officer of the Zero Division. His Zanpakuto is called Kimpika, which means Gilded Splendor when translated. His Shikai release command is Heavenly Flash, and when his Shikai is released, the blade of his Zanpakuto glows. However, that is unfortunately all we know about his Shikai, which is a real shame as his powers are sure to be super impressive. Anime only, Rusaburo Enkugawa, commonly referred to as Enryu, is one of Rurichio's bodyguards. His Zanpakuto is called Daichimaru, which means the land when translated. His Shikai release command is Rock, and when his Shikai is activated, his Zanpakuto turns into a pair of large black fists. These two fists are also connected by a chain that goes from, you know, one fist to Enryu's and then through to the other. Enryu Shikai is a defensive one and its special ability is that he can create a trail of rocks when he punches the ground. These rocks go in the direction of his opponent and when it reaches them, a pair of large white hands emerge from the ground that ensnare the target. This can be used to either trap an enemy or to protect the one trapped within from attacks as the hands are very, very durable. Final Shikai on the list and it's an anime only again. Ryusei Kenzaki, commonly referred to as Kenryo, is one of Rurichio's bodyguards. His Zanpakuto is called Beni Shidare, which means Crimson Weeping Bow when translated. His Shikai release command is Bloom Madly. Now, when his Shikai is activated, his Zanpakuto becomes a long black sword with five flowers on the blade. This thing certainly looks very underwhelming, but it does have a pretty cool ability. So its ability is that the flowers begin to release a pollen that will cause more flowers to appear, but this time on his opponent's weapon. This then renders it useless to them. If the pollen were to be blown away, that person's weapon would be useful to them again. This pollen can also be used as a diversion tactic when Kenryu blows it into his enemy's face. This temporarily blinds them, giving Kenryu time to escape or land a strike of his own. He also has a second ability in which he can scatter his flowers to send a large amount of energy needles to rain down upon his opponent. And that is it, every Shikai from Bleach explained. There was certainly a lot to cover in this video and I really do hope that I did manage to get them all. If I did miss one, let us know in the comment section below. Also, let us know which of the Shikai was your favorite and which one do you think is the most powerful of them all. Of course, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more Bleach videos on the channel, make sure to let us know by smashing that like button. If you haven't, make this the video you subscribe and hit the notification bell to turn on all notifications or you will miss future anime uproar videos. Remember, you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Anime Uproar. Thanks again and we can't wait to see you in the next one. Till next time, my friends, take care. Peace!